We're looking at a level 2 functional skills exam question and for this question we've got a shape here that we need to recreate on this grid using this box which we can click and drag uh, to you know, change the size of, change the shape of and we need to make this shape on our grid using this box. James is an interior designer. He wants to make an accurate he wants to draw an accurate plan of the room. He makes this rough sketch of the room. Here it is. Draw a plan of the room on the grid for James. Remember to use the key. Now the key is up here. It says that one square on the grid is 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters in the room. So that means that this distance here, that's 25 centimeters, one box, 25 centimeters. Uh, or this distance here is 25, 50, 75, 100 centimeters. Which leads on to an interesting uh, key fact that we need to answer this question, which is that 100 centimeters is one meter. Okay, and I'll need that because my, my grid, the scale for my grid is in centimeters here and here, but my shape is given in meters. So I just need to be comfortable with this conversion. All right. I think the first thing to do for this question is to get the shape on the grid and try and, I mean, this is a square. This, this doesn't look anything like the shape that we need to recreate. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and just make it look roughly the right shape. So I'm going to start with the top left corner up here, which I'm going to just place here. I don't know how big it's going to be. It doesn't matter at this point. Uh, and then the next corner down, the bottom left corner. So the next corner, let's put down here somewhere. If I go across, I need the bottom right corner to come next. Uh, and then there's the corner above that, up here. Then it goes across to the left. Uh, and finally, there's the top corner. OK, so uh, this is nothing. It's not the right size, but it is the right shape. It's, it's, it's looking uh, like something I can I can work with now. So um, next step is to pick one of these sides uh, and put it on the grid. I'm going to start with this one, uh, this 4.25 meters. So I'm going to take my corner and 4.25 meters is going to be, well that's 25, 50, 75, that's one meter up to that point. Then another 25, 50, 75, another 100 centimeters, that's two meters. Remember I'm looking for 4.25, uh, that's what, two meters? 25, 50, 75, 100, that would be 3 meters, 25, 50, 75, 100, that's 4 meters, and it's 4 meters 25, so one more. This is how tall my shape needs to be. So I'm just going to drag that corner, drag my shape so that it's as tall as it ought to be. There. Okay, so now it's the right height, uh, and I'll get rid of some of that, some of that working out here. Uh, the next side I'm going to choose. Well, I've done this. I've done the the length across the left here. I'm just going to keep going around the shape. So I'm going to do the bottom next, which needs to be four meters across. So let's move this to give myself a bit more space in case it ends up being really long. Go back to the pen. 25, 50, 75, 100 centimeters. One meter. 25, 50, 75, 100. That's two meters. 25, 50, 75, 100. That's a three meters. 25, 50, 75, 100, that's 4 meters, which is what I was looking for for the bottom. So this is how wide my shape needs to be. Back over to the, to the mouse, uh, drag that across so it's as wide as it needs to be, and I'm going to drag this one too just to keep it, you know, keep it uh, looking like a sensible shape. And get rid of some of this working out again. Okay, well I've done the height, I've done the width, so my next step should be to do this side but it hasn't given me the length of this side. I don't know what that side is yet, but we can work it out. It has given us enough information to find out what this side is. The height of the entire shape is 4 meters 25, and the height of this little bit of the shape is 2.5 meters. So what does this bit need to be? So that the height of this plus this is the height of the whole shape overall, the height of 4.25. Or in other words, what more do I need to add to 2.5 to get to 4.25 and that's what this length will be. So if, we ever, if I go over to my calculator what I'm doing is 4.25 the height of the whole shape take away this little bit and I'll be left with this smaller bit. So the height of the whole thing take away what I've already got oops daisy 4.25 take away the bit I've already got which is 2.5 meters 1.75 that's the height of this part 1.75. Another way of looking at it, if that's a bit confusing, is that 1.75 plus 2.5 
will give me 4.25. So this height plus this height is the whole height. So I now know, oh, I'll close that to get it out of the way, I now know that this height here, which is this height here, needs to be 1.75. So I'll go back to doing what I was before. Uh, 25, 50, 75, there's one meter. I'm looking for 1.75 meters. So 25, 50, 75, that's it. That's as tall as my shape needs to be, this part of my shape. So I drag this one down a bit so it lines up and keep this one uh, in line with it as well. Right, so we're getting there, we're nearly done. Got a couple more sides to do, three more sides to do. We have this one across here. Uh, we have the height and we have the, the, the width across the top. But again, we're left with the problem where we're not actually told... Oh, sorry. No, we are totally told. It's 1.25 metres. My mistake. So 1.25 metres, 25, 50, 75. There's one metre. It's 125, so it's just one more little hop. There is our 1.25 metres. So go back to my mouse. I'm going to click this one to drag it over here and across the top as well to there, good, uh, and get rid of my working out. And since I've you know been following the shape all the way around, I'm going to keep going. So now I'm going to do this 2.5 meters, counting up in 25s again, 25, 50, 75, there's one meter, 25, 50, 75, there's two meters, and 25, 50, so that's already 2.5, that one's okay, and across the top. Now this is the same problem as we have before, where we're not given this length and we need to work it out. The whole shape across, the whole width of the shape is 4 meters, and we've already got 1.25 of it, so what's left when I take this 1.25 away from 4? I'll just go over to the calculator, uh, clear my working out from before. We're doing 4 meters, which is the whole width, take away this little bit of the width, which is 1.25, and we're left with 2.75. That's the width all the way across the top. 2.75. Okay, so let's count across on our shape. We've got 25, 50, 75, 1. That's 1 meter. We've got 25, 50, 75, 100. That's 2 meters. And 25, 50, 75. So that's already 2.75 meters across, which is what it needs to be according to our calculations. So as it stands, I'm happy with this shape being a plan of this room accurately drawn. So I'm happy that I've got three marks for that question.